Welcome back. I did some testing with the HRG Incision. It takes on Hell on Earth with an upgraded once HRG Incision and no Battle Surgeon, but all of this stuff. Uh, it takes two body shots to kill a Scrake, one headshot to kill a Scrake on Hell on Earth with one player life. I didn't care about six player life because I'm not. I'm not killing Scrakes or Flesh Pounds as a medic on six player. I don't I don't care how many it takes, I'm, I'm not doing that. Um, it's not happening. <laughs> I, I, uh, I think I did like one of them. I think it was like five or six shots. It's just, it's not, no. Uh, it takes three body shots to kill a Flesh Pound and two head shots. So all in all, it's a very potent weapon. And I know that that's all I've been doing so far, but like, I just, I love this weapon. It's so good. Like, it's so good. So we're going to try a Hell on Earth run. Now, I haven't beaten Hell on Earth in Killing Floor in general in quite some time. Let alone solo as a medic. So, you know... Is, is it gonna go well? I'm not even like level 25, I'm only level 16. Is it gonna go well? Yeah, probably not. That's okay though, right? Nobody, nobody really minds a, a failure every now and then, right? Oh god. I forgot how fast everything is on uh, Hell on Earth. I have to do a bit of kiting. Like, they're so fast. My god. They're so fast. I think I was attacking the other one, but that's okay. Because they both need to die eventually anyway, right? So who cares which one you kill first? Just kill them both, right? Oh wait, you're not a... You're not a whatever those things are called. That poison does an incredible amount of damage though. So I'm not super concerned about my ability to kill stuff in uh, the early game here with this pistol. Even though this is like the weakest tier 1... Tier 1? I don't know. Is it a tier 1? Or is this like tier 0? I don't know. It's the weak. It's the weakest starting weapon by like quite a lot. Even worse than the nine millimeter here that we have. So this is the first time doing Hell on Earth solo, actually, in even longer. Last time I would have done Hell on Earth would have been on a, a team that I don't have anymore. Back in. Probably, honestly, the close beta. I normally do suicidal or hard or um, normal, just kind of messing around as a carrying people. It's not often that I do uh, Hell on Earth at all. I'm just not good. You know, I'm not good at this game. So I just choose not to do it very often. And maybe that that's like a crutch. You know, maybe. Sure. You wouldn't be completely wrong about that, I suppose. Um, but that's okay. Either this is a giant paper cut or something else entirely. I think I'm gonna go for the shotgun right now. And then hopefully by the end of this wave we're able to afford the um, HRG incision and we can start popping heads with that. Uh, but since this is going to be our alt weapon in, uh, in the end game, I think we can just buy this now. Cause I'm not, I'm not like I don't know what spawns at what waves here. Like I know that in hard or even suicidal, I definitely would not be caring about this. Um, but on Hell and Earth, I'm like I don't know what's where, so I don't know what I want. A weapon that can take down a Scrake, you know? And I really don't want to be taking down a Scrake with uh, 
the medical pistol. The med, the med, the med, the med pistol. That doesn't sound like a good time to me. Oh come on. So far though, this uh, like I, I noticed the increased difficulty. Like, definitely do notice it. But I'm not feeling like it's an insurmount insurmountable difficulty increase, you know? Just, it is harder. And that's okay. Okay, you know what? I, um... I believe, I believe that's what, uh, what they call comedic timing. Um, we'll just pretend that one didn't happen. So welcome back. <laughs> I did some testing with the... <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> No, seriously, I, I don't think this is an insurmountable obstacle. I think this is very highly doable. I think we can we can pull through on this. Just um, don't don't do what I just did. That was the wrong thing to do. Yeah. I forgot I wasn't a commando. I thought I was six dead in exed time. So I was going to stay and take care of them all. Come on. I should be bashing more, hey? Because I guess if you're going to be getting caught so much and getting caught is that disastrous, then you really want to be bashing your way out of it, right? Like, you don't need to reload. You need to bash, get out of there. And then um, reload afterwards when you're in a more safe position. It's probably what you want to be doing, right? Like, secure your safety first. And then worry about your ammunition. That, that, that makes sense to me. You know? Whether or not I can put that into actual practice, yeah, you know. We'll see. But I feel like priority number one when you're grabbed is uh, definitely not to reload. Also, use the um. The poison stuff more because it does slow them down, right? Yeah. So obviously if you can one-shot them in the head, then do that, but if you can't do that, then at least slowing them down is uh, a good thing. And if I'm able to learn how to like head trace these things when they're like flailing around like that, which is probably not something that most people do. I guess most people aren't really maining a medic in solo though. That's fine. I feel like I'm getting better. If we can finish this hell on earth in like a normal default map, I'll be pretty proud of myself. I think that'll be the first time I'll have soloed it in a default map. Normally when I do it, I do it in um, other maps or like I said, I'm in a party. And again, like I said again, it's been quite some time since I've uh, done it at all. Suicidal has been the highest I've gone in uh, in a very, very long time. Slash of flick lighting. My face. I do do uh, suicidal pubs sometimes. They're 
hot garbage. Pubs are just annoying in general, really. Actually, I wonder if we can find... Because you don't need much ammunition in the HRG incision, right? Like, that's the beauty of it, is, is you're using your darts to kill stuff. So if I could just find, like, a weapon somewhere... I can't. Okay, so we're going to go with the shotgun again. It didn't work out last time, but um, this time it will because um, reasons. What reasons? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, if you, um, if you just keep doing the same thing and expect it to work, eventually you'll realize how stupid you are. Oh. This is not a good place to be. I don't want to be here. I want to be going up here. I like this, this route here. This route works pretty well for me. Like through here, back down around. Maybe it's not a good one because this is kind of a smaller area with a lot of spawns and uh, then another smaller area with a spawn directly next to it as well so maybe it's not the smartest of ways to do it but it's working out pretty well for me as long as I keep my eyes on uh, what's around me I think it'll be fine that's the biggest difference between um, like the lower difficulties and then suicidal and hell on earth is uh just being better about keeping an eye on what's around you uh, that's a skill that you really need in um in a team you don't really need to worry about what's around you because you're all handling your lanes and if somebody does let something pass then you know they tell you um, but as solo which is you know again what i am that's I feel like the biggest hurdle for people. Yeah. I love exploding them. I hate the Edars, uh, but I love exploding them. And like EMPing everything around. Okay, we did get enough for for the incision. Not for much ammo, but again, we don't really need ammo. Ammo's kind of a secondary thing. Uh, how is this going to work when tons of Zeds are rushing us and all we have is an HRG incision? I uh, who knows. I'm gonna grab, but uh, I'm just gonna autofill that. Because all we have is like this, which does not fire quickly, especially when I'm not at level 25 and I don't have all of the syringe recharge speeds. I feel like it's uh, definitely gonna be noticeably more hectic. Although I guess that's probably something that goes without saying, right? Higher difficulties, more hectic. I mean, what are you expecting? Less hectic? Nah. Get out of here. Oh, crap. That was a miss. Does one shot those guys in the chest, I believe. So that's good at least. And I think I can one shot the crawlers anywhere. I don't have to headshot them. Which is good. Because headshotting the crawlers is not a uh, enjoyable task for me. I'm being straight up with you. Medicine, 
Can you one-shot those guys? I do not know. Maybe? Did he get killed? He did get killed. Come on. Don't dodge like that. It's not cool, bruh. There's a lot more enemies that uh, require the ammunition on um, the higher difficulties, too. So that's going to make a... Come on. Accuracy a lot more important. As uh, you need to make sure that you're actually hitting with the limited ammunition that you have. Whereas in the lower difficulty, a uh, miss here or there with the, uh, the actual ammunition was not a big deal. Because you have so much ammunition anyway. It'll uh, work out just fine. Aww, a bit, doesn't it? In the long run. Whereas now, I definitely don't. <laughs> but I think it's... You know, I said that uh, not very viable in Hell on Earth or Suicidal, but I... I'm going to correct myself. I'm not even that good. And uh, it's working gangbusters for me right now. So, you know what? For Solo Medic, I think this is maybe, let alone a good weapon, but the weapon that you should choose. Now, we'll see how it uh, holds up once we start getting fleshies and scrapes and all that. Because we have used up quite a lot of ammunition. Although, we are picking up ammo boxes, so I haven't really noticed a, a lack of ammunition as being a problem just yet. Hard to be entertaining. I'm trying, you know? But focusing on that and also on everything around me, it's so difficult. Oh, okay. I didn't hear that we had a... I did not hear that we had one of these guys spawned. Doesn't matter, because this weapon is god tier. Gotcha. Okay, apparently I am god awful. It is 1 6 dead. Maybe we should heal him with the dart. The, the dot that this thing applies. I do not know. I want to do some testing to see. I think I'll have to use like a mod for showing damage numbers though to do that. I want to see if. The initial hit scales the uh, the damage that the dot does because the dot on this thing feels a lot more powerful than the dot that I'm used to doing. You know, I'm not used to damage over time completely destroying uh, like large sets, but like we rely on the dot to finish off the um, like that guy's gonna die even though I didn't hit him in the head. Uh, we rely on the dot to kill off uh, the really big sets, like Flesh Pounds, Scrakes. Um, actually, I don't think it kills the Flesh Pounds, but I believe it should kill the uh, Scrakes. I think with an upgraded HRG Incision, one shot to the head on a Flesh Pound, or on a Scrake, I think is what I discovered. So we'll see if I'm actually able to finish this. I'll, I'll be really Just proud of myself if I can. It is much longer. There's a lot more enemies to be killing. We'll upgrade that. Can I upgrade it again? Or is that it? That's it. Make your choices. Rock and roll. Yes, it's a. Uh, it's it's incredible how much of a difference the the dot makes. I did not think that it would make that much of a difference. I thought that the dot was probably one of the least useful. Uh, right sides. But I think this might even be more valuable than Battle Surgeon. For uh, for most use work. cases, anyway. Mind you, we're playing, you know, solo medic. I mean, if you're playing, again, a medic in a party, you definitely want to be full left side. Because it's just much better for everybody. 
I have time to reload you ever get. Ah. Oh. Horrible shot. You want seconds? Okay, we're gonna take this guy out. Again, bash, retreat, reload. Okay, that does work much, much better. Uh, we're gonna heal ourselves with this. Hopefully, take out some of these guys as well. Oh, we got a fleshy. Where are you at? Uh, one shot in the head was enough to kill these guys. So they're not really a big deal at all. They are about as dangerous as a gore fiend. Maybe a little bit less dangerous. Again, we're going to have to nade this one up. Finish these guys off. Too much trash is not very good for the uh, HRG incision because you don't get many shots. It's the oh god, this isn't good. I'm gonna have to nade it again. I don't wanna, but don't think I have a choice in that. That's not good. So that's one major problem that can happen there. We've already had what, flesh pound and quarter pounds spawn there, and now we're getting this guy as well spawning there. The husks. The husk spawning there is really bad. One headshot is enough to finish that off. But you do have to get the headshot to finish him off, I believe. If you don't get the headshot, it doesn't actually finish him off. I thought I had a thing. Okay, we're gonna have to go this way. should die. You should also just fall. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Oh, that's a real flesh pound. There's so many... Oh, crap. This guy should die. Should be okay. We're down here. Finish you off. Toss a nade. Some healing. Man, this is a... A lot more hectic than I thought it would be, honestly. I thought I'd be able to handle this and also commentate, but I was wrong. <laughs> this is rough. Managing to position all of these and also worrying about if I'm being entertaining or not. It's Big handicap. Well, I'll put it that way. You want to control difficulty then. Try focusing on uh, being entertaining while you play. Who's your mommy now? Uh, you don't need it. Uh, where is it? This one should be the one in the. Uh... No. Right up here. Hopefully, we get a boss that I can actually kill. Because <laughs> I did tread that one flesh pound. That's right. You tell me how good I am. Tomatoes. That's my tip. Good for clotting. Okay. Hopefully, uh, I I don't know where I should be hanging out here. Hopefully, it's the king flesh pound or uh, Hans. Hans would be okay. I hope. <clears throat> I don't know if he'll be okay, but maybe. I shall cause you pain. 
You know, when I was, uh, <clears throat> back when I used to play, man, my voice is going all of a sudden. I believe he's right out there, right? Give you a chance. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty substantial damage. Yay! Something to get empty. I grow tired of this game. Make sure we got our heal up for this part. Otherwise, we could die. I thought I had uh, full health there, or uh, reloaded there. What do I know, though, right? <clears throat> the dot is still just continues to be incredible. This should get him. And it did. Alright. See if we can't uh, finish him off this time. We did get a hit, but we kind of got trapped as well. Yeah, the dot isn't enough to finish him off. Or finish the shield off, rather. But, I think that this will be a uh, successful run, anyway. Which feels pretty good. Because that is the first time I've done Hell on Earth solo in uh, quite some time. It's the first time I've done Hell on Earth solo with um, a Sharp Stooger style play, anyway. So. <sighs> it's a little hectic at times. But... Uh, my opinion on this weapon has definitely changed. Uh, previously, Medic didn't have any solo weapons for practical solo play. And now, they definitely do. Medic definitely has a weapon that is very capable in solo play. Now, is the best option to use exclusively that weapon for the whole game? No. No. Um, you should probably get... Uh, SMG maybe? <clears throat> maybe? I don't know. So I'm thinking, I'm like, I don't think... That uh, you can afford, from a, a weight perspective, a carry weight, an encumbrance perspective, I don't believe you can afford the um, grenade rifle as well. has the uh, upgraded HRG incision. You, yeah, you can't even afford it normally. And once you've upgraded it, you can't even afford the HN tech. Yeah, so I think maybe you'd want to go with either the Hemo Clobber or the HM tech SMG and use those for trash. Probably the SMG. Uh, use those for trash. Anything that you would be using the darts for. Um, and then when the big guys come out, uh, you would switch to this uh, and you would have the darts available if you're getting you know, some trash approaching you. I feel like that would be your go-to, something like that, for solo medic. Because the HM tech, the, uh, the SMG isn't going to be killing these guys well at all, but it can. Um, but it is going to be killing these fine. The load is no problem. Uh, I would probably want to pull it out for like these guys because they kind of block it. But even then, it's not really a big problem. Uh, but once you start getting the uh, like a flush pound, that's just an unreasonable amount of uh, like that was an entire clip, right? And I could have done the head tracing a little bit better, but it would have been faster just to switch to this. Also more safe. And then you have like you know your flush pound. Okay, sure, Scrake. You got your Scrake, and you got like a couple of these guys spawning, right? You're like, oh god, I gotta kill this guy. You switch over here, you pop him, and then you pop him and him, right? 
So you're able to handle the trash a little bit. I feel like that might be your your kind of solo play. Maybe. But also, you can just straight up. I wish you could pop the tank with uh, with these. I mean, you can, but it takes three shots. I want to be able to one-shot the tank. That would be very satisfying. You're going to die. I got a body shot and a headshot. Yeah. Like I said, uh, two shots in the body for the uh, Scrakes. I missed that one shot. We'll do that again. Two shots. And for the uh, this guy. I think that was a headshot, though. I, b I believe I got a headshot there. Yeah, still three shots. Uh, it also disables their rage, like normally when you're attacking, right? He's gonna enrage. Right? Whereas with the uh, HRG incision, he doesn't enrage because he's shocked. So you have all the time in the world to pop off his head again. And uh, because of that, I think that it has changed my... Uh, Dance on this weapon a little bit. Oh, that was bad. This is a bad takedown. That's not how that takedown goes. Something more like this. He does. He also doesn't really rage because of the uh, the thing. It's 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 a beautiful beautiful thing. Um, I guess for the quarter crowns, you probably want to just. Yeah, maybe you would want to switch. You just take the one shot on them, and then they're dead. Instead of having to worry about, like, exactly how many of these shots does it take, you know? Like, that'll probably do it. Is my guess. Maybe, like, one more shot? I don't know. Um, that's not the point. The point is this episode is over, and my opinion on this weapon has changed. This is, uh, this, this one, game. rather, is a fantastic solo medic weapon. It makes medic a very viable solo class. Uh, in, let's see, four, five, in six-man life, this thing's not really good at all, right? Three shots before the head's off. I mean, that's not really... It's not bad, but compared to, uh, like, Sharpshooter with, what is it, one or two? Uh, Gunslinger with their very fast takedowns. This, this is just not a very fast takedown. You have more important things to be doing as a medic. But in solo, this weapon changes the game. And uh, I think I think I understand it now. I think I understand it. And I'm okay with it. I like it. Anyway, that's it for this episode. This one kind of went on a bit. Bit of a weird episode, but that's okay. Not every episode's about. Uh, not every episode is baller, you know. Some of them are just uh, a little bit worse, you know. And that's that's okay. Some of them sometimes that just happens. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I don't know. Maybe maybe we'll do another HRG in session, but I think I want to try out Berserker or Commando. Maybe Commando. I don't know. Bye bye.